Hey everybody, Quacker Spooks here. Today we're going to be doing predictions for week 8 of the 2021 NFL season. So today is Thursday, October 28th. And tonight we have the Green Bay Packers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Um, there has been a little speculation that Alan Lazard and Devontae Adams are on the COVID-19 list, which they are. And Marquez Vandless, Scant, Val, uh, Valdez Scantling, our MVS, is also out. So, and J.J. Watt, their star defender, is out for the season with a shoulder injury. So I'm not really sure how this game is going to go. But I'm going to be picking the Cardinals because even though the Packers are a pretty good team, Aaron Rodgers doesn't have a star wide receivers. And the Cardinals, they have a high flying offense already. They started 7 and 0 for the first time since 1974. So I'm picking the Cardinals. Next up on Sunday, we have the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to be picking the Panthers even though they've lost four straight. I think the Falcons are a dumpster fire coming off of a bye. Actually, no, that was week six. They, ju they just won against the Dolphins because the Dolphins choked on their own ass. But I'm picking the Panthers. The Tennessee Titans take on the Indianapolis Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm going to be picking the Tennessee Titans. They beat us. They walloped us, actually, um, with a score of 27-3. to They beat the Chiefs. So they can probably beat the Colts as well, even though they... One against San Francisco on Sunday night. So, I'm going to be picking the Titans. The Miami Dolphins take on the Buffalo Bills. And I'm going to be picking the Buffalo Bills. The Dolphins do not look good. I'm not sure why I picked them last week. They looked abysmal. Tua can't throw the ball. All you can do is turn it over even though the Falcons' defense is complete ass. But I'm picking Buffalo coming off a bye. I think they can pull out with a win here and go 5-2 and two here. And the Dolphins will be 1-7 and seven because their bye week is week 14. So, yeah. The Cincinnati Bengals take on the New York Jets. Um, they completely walloped the Baltimore Ravens last week. Jamar Chase looked like a stud. He broke the record for most receiving yards by a rookie in seven games. And I feel that the Bengals can beat the Jets. Because the Jets still don't look good. They just traded for Joe Flacco, the arm punt master. So, yeah, I'm picking the Bengals. They'll be 6-2. and two. I believe their bye week is in week 10. The Pittsburgh Steelers coming off a bye. Play the Cleveland Browns. At First Energy, I'm going to be picking the Browns. Even though the Steelers won against the Seahawks, that wasn't a that wasn't a impressive win. I kind of expected them to win against the Seahawks because they're terrible, and and I know the Browns just lost to. 
Did they did they lose? I don't I don't even remember what they did. They're um they're four and two, right? No. They're four and three. They just won against Denver. So I know, it's been a few days. But I'm going to be saying the Browns for this one. The Philadelphia Eagles take on the Detroit Lions at Ford Field. And the Lions are just going to keep their winless streak going. And they're going to be wowed by the Eagles, even though this is going to be a tank ball. So I'm picking the Eagles. I got to go quick here because I have to go to band in a few minutes. The Los Angeles Rams take on the Houston Texans. I am picking the Rams because they have a really good offense. The Texans, they have lost six straight after beating Jacksonville back in week one. So, yeah, I'm picking the Rams. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Chicago Bears. And even though they're two and four, um, I feel that they can bounce back with a win here against Chicago. I believe that the Bears are going to be three and five after this if San Francisco wins and the San Francisco will be three and four. It must hurt not having Jimmy G because he's probably the reason why you had a winning record back in 2019. The New England Patriots take on the Los Angeles Chargers. I feel that the Patriots are going to win this one out. Who did I pick? I think I picked the Chargers, right? I don't know. I think the Patriots will win this one out. This one's a tough one because, I mean, the Chargers have a really good team. But I'm going to be picking the Chargers for this one because New England, I mean, they still have some holes in their offense, but I think they can pull it off. I think the Chargers can pull off with the win because they have Justin Herbert and all those funny guys. They'll be 5-2 and two. coming off. The Chargers just came off a bye as well. The Jacksonville Jaguars take on the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Jacksonville also came off a bye. And um, Seattle hasn't been doing so hot. But I'm going to be picking the Seahawks for this matchup here. So that'll be... Um, they will go to three and three and five because their buy isn't until uh, God knows when. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sorry, that's somebody that I have streaks with. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers take on the New Orleans Saints. I'm going to be picking the Buccaneers. Um, just even because they're the Super Bowl champions and their current record is six and one. And they have a late buy as well, I think. I think that's I think I think their buy is in week ten. I'm not really sure. But the Buccaneers take on the Saints, but I'm picking the Bucks. The Washington football team takes on the Denver Broncos. <laughs> the Washington football team. I'm going to be picking Washington. Bronc Denver does not look good. They've lost four straight, and I feel that they're going to lose another one. So I'm picking Washington. The Dallas Cowboys, who probably will not lose Dak to season-ending injury, hopefully not, take on the Minnesota Vikings. Dallas just came off a bye, and so did Minnesota. So, I feel that Dallas is going to beat Minnesota. I believe their record is 5-1, and one, and they'll probably be 6-1 and one by this time. So, they'll, that's, that's Dallas and Minnesota. I'm picking Dallas. 
The New York Giants take on the Kansas City Chiefs. My Kansas City Chiefs are going to beat the shit out of the Giants. Because if they lose to the Giants, then I'm losing all hope. I'll still be a Chiefs fan, but even if we suck, at least the Bandwagons fans will be gone. I've been around since Matt Castle, so. Come on, Rannon, I'm, I'm coming! I'm going to be picking Kansas City for this one. And those are my predictions for week eight. We'll see you guys next week when we do week nine.